back in the great British menu kitchen, the chefs should be entering the final straight. James is poaching his chicken in butter, thyme and garlic before his ravioli is blanched. But Stephen's not even fried his rabbit base yet. So that's the legs pressed. Yeah. We comfy that, braised it, comfy yeah. it. Comfy. comfy. Yeah. Big portions there. Yeah. We've got a bigger plate. Look what he's serving, look. You're feeding the, the, the whole of the British Army, are you? Hey, if they asked me to, I probably would. <laughs> Stephen's rabbit confit may be enough to feed a brigade, but he needs to turn it into a prize-winning rare bit rabbit dish and fast. And he's running late. I'll only cook them for four or five minutes. About four, four, so I'm a bit concerned about how long we're going over there. Ready for plate. How long are you, Stephen? Uh, still that minute. He needs to go. Come on. <laughs> no pressure. James is looking worried. Both chefs must plate up together and Stephen's not as close as he should be, meaning James's ravioli is in danger of overcooking. But I really must ask you to hurry up, Stephen, because I'm needing these... <laughs> is he slowing you down, is he? Uh, I think so, on purpose. My mum always used to say, all good things come to those who wait. Yeah. yeah but how long do you have to wait, though, Stephen? James decides to take the risk and plate up in the hope that Stephen's not far behind. He places a bed of leeks onto his plate, sprinkles on garden vegetables, slices the chicken, which has been poached in butter, thyme and garlic, and places the pea-filled ravioli on top. You've got the shakes there, haven't you? I have, yeah. You got any more of that ale for him? <laughs> I calm his nerves. <laughs> Lastly, it's grandma's chicken soup and James's Welsh cheese foam. And finally, Stephen's ready to go. He spreads rare bit mix onto the deep-fried breaded rabbit and then grills. Mixed salad leaves join the rare bit along with rabbit loin and kidneys. The dish is topped with thinly sliced asparagus, broad beans and deep-fried rabbit belly.